If you're a Jeep enthusiast and you're looking for some tips and some tricks, how to save time and save money and still get your project done the right way, you're gonna to wanna to hear what I have to say. Guys, it's Drew here from Dead Jeep. Welcome back to another segment of who we are and what we do. As always, we're gonna start with uh, taking a walk through the shop, find out what's going on, and then I'm gonna share the footage with you of me taking a ride to drop off the Duke's Jeep at Jamie's Custom Exhaust Shop. That was a thrill. We also have some special guests come down and visit us, some local people, really local, like a few thousand miles away, they drove. But we'll get into that, we'll meet them, fantastic people, I'm really excited to talk to you about them. And then also, uh, Ray, the beekeeper. Hang tight. Let's take a walk. Yeah. First thing in the morning here at Dead Jeep, we already have, I mean, this is first thing. We're just getting started. And this is our, uh, this is our shipping table. First thing in the morning. Look at all these yummy things we got going out. From steering columns to lights, seat brackets, sound bars. We got everything going on over here. First thing in the morning. We're going to take a walk downstairs. Again, we're still COVID-19. Still dealing with it, still working through it. Let's go take a walk downstairs and uh, find out what's going on. I'm on my way to Jamie's Custom Exhaust to go drop off the Duke's Jeep. Get a sweet, sweet exhaust put on this thing for him and uh, get this thing rocking. And uh, when we get there, I'm going to do a quick intro and talk to Jamie as well. It's on the truck, getting ready to go, John. I'm riding shotgun with you. You're not gonna like scare me, are you? One-way streets and dead ends. You're good. A little scared. A little scared. All right, we're going. What do you do with the paperwork? Should I put my seatbelt on? Yes, yeah, more. Where did my seatbelt on? Oh, wrong hole. <laughs> wrong hole. Jamie's custom exhaust we're dropping off the Duke's Jeep. I'm here with Jamie. So Jamie, you got good plans for this thing? I guess from Ray's notes, yes. <laughs> nice, Ray uh, sends his regards. Glad you're feeling better. Yeah. And I really appreciate uh, you taking the time to do this for us. And what's your time frame, do you think? It'll be done before the end of the day. We're excited to get this thing going because uh, I know he's been waiting for this for a while. We had a, a couple of hiccups. Got hurt. Mako, $5,000 figure for a paint job. Which is what's up with that, right? <laughs> Sounds pretty pretty beefy right now. But wait until Jamie gets his hands on it and does his magic. We're gonna have a beautiful exhaust on that. I believe it's like a four inch exhaust all the way through. It's gonna be fantastic. And now we're heading back to the shop. Everything was smooth. We're gonna take a walk over and talk to a couple of people that came down to visit us today. Hey guys. Hello, sir. How are you guys doing today? We're good, and you? I am fantastic. So you guys, uh, I heard you guys had a very short trip here. Yes, um, just 1,640 <laughs> miles short. Woo! Yeah. But it we was... left Friday morning around noon. Nice. So Where are you guys coming from? So we live in northeast Texas, a small town called Pittsburgh, Texas. Pittsburgh, Texas. Fantastic. Yes, sir. But wow. it's not a city. It's a, it's a small little town. I bet you could Lake probably Texas. fit all of Rhode Island in, like, your town, right? <laughs> we have a population of about 4,500 people. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, we have so many cattle farmers of hundreds and hundreds of acres of just... That's fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. What brings you guys down here? Um... Is it down or up? I think it's more across. Well, yeah, well, north, <laughs> kind of northeast of us. So my wife is part of the volunteer fire department there Fantastic. in Pittsburgh. Fantastic, yeah. And she uses the Jeep to do on fire calls. Right. It, we bought it used three years ago. It had a few issues that we were able to work through. Um, but finally, the wiring and the steering column, 
decided uh no it didn't want to work anymore yeah right so couldn't just doing, push it anymore <laughs> yeah it said no more so um we're doing a frame off restoration on it wow and while looking for parts we found deadjeep.com. We have seen the videos, seen the people, and we're here to try to get a new engine, a rebuilt, you know, um, work 4.0 engine. We're gonna nice. put in the Jeep, yeah. uh, give it a little more pep. What year is the Jeep that you guys have now? It's a 95 YJ. Nice. Um, she recently told me that it wasn't fast enough recently <laughs> to keep up with the was it traps. Was it the speed or the power? Uh, both. <laughs> yes. Both. Both. The 2.5 I mean, didn't have enough. Right. Yeah. So we're putting the 4.0 uh, high output and we're gonna see where that goes. But right now we have it completely apart. So when we make our journey back home to the south, nice. we'll get home and put it all back Fantastic. together Fantastic. Well, we love love hearing that, you know, we're, we're reaching across country here. So oh, yeah. absolutely. this is fantastic. Uh, we actually spoke to several of our Jeep friends back home. Yeah. And they were all kind of jealous that they, ah. we were coming up and they weren't. Nice. So it's, I'm glad to have you guys in Rhode Island. And, uh, you. Are you guys going to stay for a little bit or you're, uh, you're going to kind of just get your stuff and go? Kind of get our stuff and go. We're wow. actually going to visit some family out in Midwest and yeah. head on back south to Louisville or back down to Texas. Right. Well, again, we really appreciate your Thanks time and uh, love having you guys come out and see us. Yes. And uh, you guys have a safe trip back. We'll Thank be you. sure to send you pictures once we Ah, uh, yeah, we'll please. We'll post them. We'll definitely get them out there. And <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll uh, spread the love, so to speak. Sounds good. <laughs> who's, this, who's this guy? This is Nola. This is, this is our little four-year-old female lab mix. And Name her trapped. after New Orleans. Go, Machete Man. I need the soup. They're not stinging yet. They're Give it a minute. <laughs> They're scared of the machete guy. Yeah. They're not going to sting nobody. I think when I put the machete down. But it also just moved the hive a little bit. Yeah. No, no. We're not moving the hive. There's one thing. Yeah. We're not going to. I've already that experience. I'm already done with it. I'm it's just going to go in and make, check the status of the hive. Make sure uh, Queen's in there. Make sure she's uh, laying. And then. Uh, so all this was actually done intentional is what you're telling me. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. um, you know, because especially in the spring, this hive is, is not, there's not a ton of room in it. So you want to make sure they're not swarming, not wanting to swarm. Oh, Let's see if no, we have to add any no more boxes. No bee swarms, please. You're probably going to, you got any more boxes or is this it? This, I just, how many times, this is my first hive. All right. I got it a week ago. No, I'm just ago. asking, he didn't, he didn't sell, he didn't <laughs> no. give you any other boxes with the, with the thing? Uh, I just wanted you to actually go to this bee stores to go buy bee stuff. You got Woods, uh, Woods is up in, uh... Lincoln. Yeah. I'm gonna go there and get a box. And I'm gonna get You're gonna probably need more supers. Huh? You're gonna probably need more boxes. Yeah, more boxes. Next year you split it. Look, see, now then they're starting to look a little angry. No, they're not, they're fine, they're fine. All right. <laughs> they're totally chill right now. <laughs> Don't you have, like, a smoker? <laughs> Right oh, here. you got a smoker. I'll wait for the smoker. <laughs> I'll, I'll get started. Yes, definitely wait for the smoker. Okay, I'll work on it till the first day. I think they're fine. Can I put back here? No. Take No, you'll be all right. I probably put my safety glasses. Proud of safety glasses. Proud of safety glasses. See, they seem like they're calm. Everyone's happy. Now, do I got to put these boards back on when I'm oh, done? No, no, no. So the guy should have told me to take the boards off. Yeah, well, if you haven't gone in there. Yeah, the boards are just for transportation. How come it looks like there's more bees? There should be. If the queen's in there and she's No, no, it looks like there's more bees, like there's more bees hanging around right now. Oh, it's a, it's a nice day out there. Oh, do we need a jar for the honey? You ain't getting the honey yet. <laughs> what do you mean? Look at all my flowers. So if they smell the smoke, they think they got to start saving the hive so they'll go, go in and gorge on honey yeah it just distracts them so it makes them so far they get stung once good <laughs> we'll have to a good stop it's early since it's my <laughs> first time in this hive i'm going to uh suit up this that instills no confidence in me whatsoever <laughs> there's plenty yeah, of times like in my I'm hives i'm pretty sure on facebook we were going to do this like men you were we weren't going to be sissies about it did you get the other side off yet? No, man. You're waiting here for your smoker. I already smoked it. But right now, they like, seem great. Don't poison the waters here. I'm wondering, you know, I haven't been stung yet. But can't bees, like, you know, sense the sense oh, energy sense levels? Yeah. Like, if the person's, like, being really, like, angry with a drill, then they can, like, 
they get angry back. They sense you a cheat. It's like attitude and response. I'm not an angry <laughs> Well, they don't know that. You have a drill in your hand, so they could take that as offensive. Oh, there's a lot over there. <laughs> don't be a sissy, Ray. For it I used. So can we call you Sean the Smoker? No. Ray, you look a little scared. But I want to be where I can run. I can run. Like marijuana, like stuff in there and smoke them out with that. Would that make them really calm? <laughs> I bet it would. Why are you whipping them around like that? That looks like oh it would piss God. them off. So when you go in, right? I'll put my safety glasses back on. You want to make sure that anytime you open a cover or anything like that, look, make sure the queen's not in there. Because the queen is the key. You don't want to lose the queen. Where's she going to go? Well, if you get her down there. If she goes, they follow, right? Yeah. See her down there? How do you know which uh, one's the queen? Yeah. Oh, they're really good. Eh? I wonder if I should put a mat hat on. Well, if you get stung, let me know. Why are you already. pissing them mm -hmm. off? It doesn't piss them off. It mellows them out. All right, same thing. Top cover. I'm gonna give a look. Make sure the queen's not on here. Is she bigger than the rest? Why is it black piece? Different color or? We're going to take it off because um. What if the queen's underneath it? Yep, she's. This is just another right? entrance thing for him. And a different shape. Yeah. Yeah, if, if I find her, I'll show it to you. Probably. <laughs> Don't piss the queen off. Female, Everyone knows that. They're not yeah. as pretty as the males, you know? Oh, she's beautiful. Like the cardinal. You'll see. She's pretty. Yeah. Um, we're gonna do it. Oh, I was gonna say, mm -hmm. we're not gonna be playing with the phone while I'm over here getting stuck. But by, by having me stand here with the camera. Oh, wow. And why do you do that? To keep in the hive because they were starting to crawl out of the hive. No, like, you need to get back, baby girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look. Now they're looking pissed. You yeah, they really are looking Actually, pissed. Actually, so. Honey, smoke it a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna get stuck. Okay. You got oh, fuck. <laughs> Easy. You have it set up as a single brood chamber. I didn't set this up. The bottom box is ideally where the queen is going to be. You'll find all the, the eggs, larvae down there. Up here, it looks like this thing's chock full of honey. You just said there was no honey. Didn't he say that in the beginning? There was, I think he said you were going to get honey. I said I was going to get no honey. I said, do I need to get a jar? Do I need to get a jar? <laughs> you got to extract it. That's another process. So listen. <laughs> There's no good news. There's a lot of good news. If this shit's all caps honey, we can extract this. Oh, you just said that's a whole other process. Extractor. Turkey baster. Cat honey. Always go slow. Oh, nice. oh, right, so you look at this. This is honey. It's not capped yet, but this thing is chock full of honey. All right. So should we wait and just get an extractor and do the, like a whole extracting thing? Yeah. I have the. Ex I have an extractor. So. Because you need to get more boxes. I need to get more boxes. I need to get a suit. We're not gonna be a sissy no more. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna we're gonna be a sissy. Sorry. Oh, I don't know. What are we doing, Sean? Shouldn't we be making more smokes? Nope. Does anybody have an EpiPen? Last time I did this, I got stung six times. Six or seven. I lost yeah, out of moving different. it. Move they it. got pissed. Did you okay. squish a bee? No. Look at all those squish bees. All right. So you have the queen is up here laying. Mm. These things are starting to get a little hangry. Not. Nah, says the guy in the suit. Once I determine the hive is cool, this, this is, is chill. cool. Yeah. I got a chill hive. This hive is totally chill. Right? Because that's a dead Jeep hive. Everyone's chill at dead Jeep. This is all honey. Killing it. Crushing it right now. Crushing it. I'm going to be the honey man, your biggest honey man, you be honey. Send you some honey. We got to get specialized jaws in like the shape of Jeeps. Oh, cool. We're not really going to do that. What are you looking for? Checking the sandwich honey. You got. I would think if one's full, they're all full. I so, do. Yeah. But also, I'm looking to make sure there's honey. no eggs up in here. You had one frame that kind of had some eggs. All right, so this is, this stuff is close to being ready to harvest. Why are you putting it so close to me? <laughs> Press all right, now here's, here's, Ray, this is one. So. All right, Sean, I'm getting close. What about all the dead guys on top? Avoid Can we avoid that? So you're going to fuck with the baby. Right? I'm not going to get stung. I don't see no baby. Why are you putting that so close to my face? Like, seriously, if you want to, like, touch me with it, this is, now look, see how light this is? White it. Yeah. And this is a little more yellow. Yeah. This is all brood. This is cat brood. So these are... The dog just stuck his nose in my fucking ass. But if you also like look... A big bee. So the queen's been laying in this frame. So I'm right. killing it. Crushing it. Thank Very, you, Lee. Great. This is a healthy hive. Lee, I killed it with Lee. You're going to be my honey guy. Yep. You can uh, have my honey. Is that the nicest thing I've ever said to you, Sean? But I'm not looking for honey. I'm looking for, like, bees to do honey. Yeah. 
to do so my you, dirty work. I want another deep. Another deep would give you a double brew chamber. I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna go into the bottom box. Oh, really? Then we have to do that because why? We wanna check for swarm sickness. For who? Swarm sickness. It's in the spring. If you don't give them enough room, they'll swarm out. Start getting ready to like do their thing. They'll make new queens and then you lose half your bees. What do we do with the new queen? Well, <laughs> if you can catch it, if you can wow. catch the queen cells, you can do a split you can make another hive. So you shake it like that and you yeah, yeah, it down. Uh, I'm scared. The problem is like, this is not cool. These bees I don't think I get paid for this. Propolize everything. They seal up every crack. Every I don't think I get paid. Oh, look, more squish bees. Yeah, no, but I think we're just going to close it up. Smoke them. I don't even know how to use a smoke. What the fuck? Oh, this. Yeah, yeah. Smoke these gammies. We don't want to kill too many. Oh, there goes like 20 bees. Oh, yeah, I'm sure we did. Oh, look at that poor guy. He's smushed. <laughs> Don't inhale oh. the smoke, Ray. Put this cover back on and now... Oh, so we're going to have two emptiness? Oh! Oh, that's how you piss them off. Me and a angry. Oh, 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 man. Oh. They're just like gangbusters, huh? Oh, we can smush a couple. We smush the whole bunch. This will be the only time we kill boot bees because I'm new at this. Yeah, and I didn't get stung once. Hmm. It's over. Uh, can we collect honey with no suit? Yeah. Really? I'm talking about like do the whole thing. Like menly, manly you... men. No, need a suit to... Baby steps, my friend. Yeah, Ray's baby steps are like King Kong baby steps. With Ray, I'm not worried. If I got stung six times, then I would have worried. It only hurts after the sixth time. Thanks for joining us here today on another segment of who we are and what we do at Dead G. If you in any way, shape, or form found this video useful, you got invaluable information out of it, make sure you subscribe, ring that bell, so you can get all the notifications out to you guys as soon as we get our new videos out. Duke's Jeep, JP and Beverly, Ray to Beekeeper. What a great episode. And if you think I'm teasing you with my background stuff right now, I so am, I so am. I couldn't tell you, you know, what would I be teasing you about? But I guarantee you that we will be talking about these bad boys.